Hey guys, welcome to another quick episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we'll be going over how to split an image or do an inlay for like a puzzle piece to help with layering. This was actually emailed to me by a couple people asking how to do this after my last video on splitting letters. So it's kind of the similar. There's three different ways you can do this. I'll try to explain it quickly and um, as accurately as I can to make it easy for you. So I went ahead and grabbed the state of Texas because it's kind of a larger image. It gives us some wiggle room to play with. The first way we'll do it is like how we did the split letter. You'll go to your drawing tools and grab the rectangle and just make a rectangle. It doesn't have to be super wide. I'm going to go ahead and make just the rectangle white so it's easy to view. And then we can see exactly where the space is going to go. So I would like to kind of keep this longer gap that's in here in the state. So I'm going to put it right about here. I'm going to highlight both images and I'm going to go to my modify panel and I'm going to click subtract all. And that's going to subtract the rectangle from the state. Now I could type letters in here just to give something. We'll just do something really quick to give the idea. We'll do something a lot of people were doing after the hurricane. Texas strong. And we'll just put that in there and we'll just color it uh, red just to give the look. So that's how you would do that. And then I always like to just grab everything, right click and group. So that way when I size it, it's always the same. Okay, so that's the first one. Put that to the side. Our second one will just be how you would do it with the layering. So I would keep the image as it is. And then again, just write. And I'll go ahead and make that red again. So basic layering, you would just put it right on top. Well, if you wanted some color behind that you would do an offset so you would click on Texas strong or whatever your words are hit the star down here that's your offset panel and click offset and you can make the distance closer or further away from the letters that it's offsetting I usually like to bring them in pretty close I'm gonna hit apply and then I'm gonna make those white so you can see so it gives a little bit of a background. If I turn the cut line colors off, it'll probably be a little easier to see. So it has that nice background color so that the two images look separated and easier to read. I need to zoom out. So there's that one. Oops, we didn't grab it all. And we'll just move that out of the way. And for our next one, it'll be similar to what we just did. So we'll just type out Texas Strong again. Make it red so we can see it. Place it over the state of Texas. Again, we will go to the star for offset. Click on the offset. Change your distance, how much you want it, whether you want it really close to the letters you have or further away, just depends on you. I'm gonna hit apply again. And this time I'm gonna grab Texas Strong. I'm gonna highlight the offset and the state of Texas. I'm going to right click and I'm gonna click make compound path. So that's going to cut these out as one. So when I cut Texas, it's gonna cut this offset out in it as well. And then when I go to I'll put this on it'll go right into the hole you'll just have to line it up when you're layering now keep in mind if you do it this way whatever the background color is that's what color the hole is going to be that you made so let's say you're making this for um, a light blue t-shirt grab light blue grab the rectangle and this will just give you an idea so that you can see kind of what it'll look like I'm going to move this to the back. So now the background letter, the offset is that blue. So it'll just depend on how you want the image to look. So that's how you would do those. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and also subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. If you have an idea of other videos I should be making, make sure you leave a comment about that below too. As always guys, happy crafting!